Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with V0 season 2 part 2 episode number 8. Okay, so the previous episode, um, we got a flashback in the previous episode and there's this whole uh, Roswell's backstory, uh, Echidona's backstory, you can, can, can call it a backstory of Echidona and Beatrice and Ryuzu and Ryuzu kind of, you know, uh, sacrificing herself in a way, the original Ryuzu, uh, for the <coughs> sanctuary and uh, we also met a new character, uh, his name was Hector, I believe and he was wearing Emilia's clothes. I don't know what that's about, but I'm guessing they're connected somehow, who knows? Or maybe it's something else. But uh, yeah, and then we got a little bit of, you know, uh, Roswell kind of uh, getting mad at Subaru and Subaru also obviously because they're, you know, they're um, like, like their point of view for the, about uh, the world kind of clashed. And like, you know, Subaru uses, usually looks at the positive of bonds whereas uh Roswell looks at the negative of bonds so obviously they're going to like clash Subaru believes in saving everyone Roswell believes in only saving one person who is you know important to him and uh, like if need be he can sacrifice the others but that's not Subaru so yeah all of those stuff so stuff happened and let's see what like how this goes so yeah guys um without further ado let's get started with ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 8 Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see what uh, this episode brings. Okay. Uh, yeah, Roswell is, you know, behind the whole thing. So, like, he angered him, so. Alright. Yeah, Garfield is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um wh what? Yeah. Uh. Wait, what? I did not understand. Like so I'm going to check that out after this ends again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's strong for a reason, you know. Oh yeah, the puncture. <laughs> Like, because, like being punctual here is not okay. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Garfield is a, you know, a eighth grader, isn't it? Or, or a fourth grader, eighth grader. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go save Beatrice. And Frederica and Petra. And Rem. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I think it's you. Oh, the opening! 
Wow, this is the second time we've seen the visuals <laughs> after eight episodes. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Wait, I uh, did not really... Like, am I dumb or something? I did not really understand when they were... Like, the whole thing with um, Garfield's mom, so... I'll check that portion out again later on. Like, so... Um, wait, so, like, like, we knew that their fathers are different. Like, Frederica and Garfield's. So... So what? Like, that's the thing that, she, like, Garfield said again, like, my mom did not have, like, you know, like, was unable to judge people. So... I, I'm kind of confused. Okay, I'll, I'll check that out after, you know, the uh, reaction, after the reaction. Like, my question is, like, so, the different fathers, aren't they? Like, Garfield's father is not Frederica's father. Like, that's the question. I'll check it out later on. Right, let's see. Oh, now Ram is here. Okay, okay. After that, this is happening. <laughs> Little. Um, what? Yes. Yeah, she won. Uh, two more tries left. Yeah. But they're quite easy compared to this, didn't uh, uh, like set, uh, Ekidona said that? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, that's a big deal coming for, from Ram. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, you know, wipe it up. Put a little bit of makeup. Do they even have makeup in this era? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Ram is kneeling. That's a really big th thing. Yeah, I, I kind of thought like, sh like she could only, you know, ask for help for two people, Rem and Roswell. But Rem, he has, she has forgotten about her. So only Roswell is there. I might not have minded that. Yeah, like even Ram can understand that. Written pool for aesthetics. Well, prove him wrong. Yeah. Damn, like it's like kind of like the first time we see like a ram like this. Yeah, I am also thinking that like how is that going to help Roswell? Like what actually is his
<laughs> yeah, stand up. Like it, it doesn't suit you kneeling like that. Oh my god. Mm. Hello there. Oh my god, he is she is. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 pretty dangerous person. Like you kind of killed Ram before, so. Mm. Um, I don't think she needs your pity, like. Mm -hmm. Um. Come on, Rosa. Like, uh, like you're just griping at this moment. Yeah, what's wrong in that, you know? <clears throat> no, I, I think you're wrong, Roswell. Nope. Nope. He is completely opposite from you. Um... <laughs> No, you're wrong. Come on, Emilia, don't fall for that. Like, yes. Like, yeah, is that all? Like, you, you finished? <laughs> yeah, have you said that to Ekidona? Um? Roswell? <laughs> Thank you. Like, thanks for not, you know, falling for Roosevelt's. What's wrong in that? Like, even if she, like, that's a trick. Like, she did something. Like, he did something at least. I won't let it. Yeah, good, like, good, like... Yep, like we are always seeing, you know, Sugur's character development. Emilia has also gone through a lot of character developments. I, I feel like Roswell is smiling genuinely for the first time.
Hmm. Um, it's moving towards its end. Oh, wrong destination. What is he talking about? Yeah. Can ever be realized. Like just try it also, huh? like yeah. Like you're like talking everything Yeah, kind of. But you know, Emily can bring it to an end, like which Ekidona once was unable to. Mm. Before her, oh. Okay. Supposed to work a bit harder. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what are you... Oh! Did Otto like say something to Ram? Okay. You're annoying, but please tell me. <laughs> okay, understandable. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh. Wait, so what actually is her intention? Wait. Wait, what's he doing? But what are you doing here? Okay.
Two purposes, my fulfillment. Yeah. Oh. The There's no way you don't have the tome of tome of wisdom. Okay. What? Those who wield the sword should die. Those who give it the Ask favors of him. Oh! Whatever one should realize upon should be the one that. But I've lost the wisdom. Wait, what? Retribution. To swell, to take against your. Oh! Oh my God! Overlook the last step. It's the precious young girl. Yeah. This is magic. Great man. Snowfall. I've been getting... Oh, so she, he's saying that you came a little bit early. Yeah, they want to save you, not kill you. Like you don't understand that, Roswell. <laughs> Greedy, you're saying that. So what? Okay. How? Yes, how? Okay. Oh, Puck! Yes, Puck is here. Okay, I kind of forgot. Okay, Puck can do something. Ah, there he is. Welcome back. <laughs> Roswell. Okay, let's see. Damn. Is that the end? No, there's still something left. Oh. Who is this? Oh no, is Elsa already here? But why is she running in the first place? Like, oh, 
Oh my god. Oh great! Wow. God, god damn it. <laughs> Else is early this time. Or is this part of Subaru's plan? Is, is he hiding somewhere here? I don't know. Okay, I, I Okay, Frederica is here, okay. <laughs> Be a girl, right? Come on, where's Subaru? Wow, good hobbies you have. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't talk about Rem in front of her. Don't talk about. And Beatrice as well. Oh my god. Come on, Subaru, where are you? Garfield, where are you? <sighs> no, Beatrice is not strong enough like we kind of saw in the previous episodes like she's strong but not enough to handle elsa Come on, where is he? In oh, okay, he's here. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> I hope that's Subaru and Nossi's hallucination. Okay, that's not a hallucination. Yeah, where's Garfield? <laughs> yeah, brother and sister. <laughs> well, she wants your guts. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> he just like. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yes! <laughs> Strongest one! Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you for that. Okay. So we'll say something about her to him. Okay. I think Garfield can handle him, you know?
<laughs> Union of Rovers, wow. <laughs> oh, still something left. Okay, is this Subaru? Yeah, it's Subaru. <laughs> I'm going to show some of them. <laughs> Uh Okay, pack your bags, Beatrice. <laughs> okay. Well, all right, so that was um episode number uh se no, 8. All right. So <laughs> Okay, so this a um, few things happened here. First of all, the um, puck. Now, so like I, I kind of had my doubts about the whole, you know, when like uh, puck was used by Subaru to stop Garfield. Like we we heard puck's voice, but I thought maybe it was like a one-time, you know, uh, like one-time thing that puck was able to help them. But turns out puck really was inside that uh, that thing, the pendant, and. <clears throat> like so okay so ram like her wish is to save roswell and roswell obviously like uh, like as ram said that roswell is in the confines of his past his delusions of the witch like that is what is you know kind of making him uh, move forward in like the wrong uh, like direction now ram wants that to like you know like that to stop so like obviously like uh subaru like he she decided to help subaru for three reasons uh, not three reasons but for three conditions and um those three conditions like the, the first one was like the whole thing with garfield and i think that the second one was uh i'll have to check that out anyways but the main thing that i'm like that helped like that made him um that made her um do this is puck's protection like he she knew that she herself obviously is not strong enough to stand against roswell so she knew that puck's help will help her immensely so she took the chance and like I, like i think that's like the correct decision she, she made like Roswell needs to be you know kind of stopped and she, like like he needs to understand that the thing that he's trying to do is just like uh like he is kind of stuck in the past and trying to uh like mess up the present because of his memories from the past so that is not correct you know so yeah and <clears throat> Like in the beginning, Roswell kind of tried to mess with Emilia again, uh, you know, kind of say like, uh, so ah, so you are doing whatever Subaru is telling you to do. So does that mean he does not have faith in you? Or does that mean that Subaru is again trying to trick you? Stuff like that. <laughs> he tried to <laughs> say and, you know, change Emilia's mind. And he thought that this will work. So like when he understood that, oh my God, like Emilia has really changed and like he won't be able to change his like emilia's mind like before he like before um <laughs> the face he made oh my god <laughs> uh, and then like he, like i think he like, was smiling really for the you know uh like he, that was a genuine smile he showed us uh uh in, like in this in that scene and i think that smile was uh like you know uh when you kind of uh give up like he kind of felt that oh boy like Emilia has become someone like Subur has been able to em change Emilia so much that they will win so like Roswell like kind of you know understood that whatever I'm going to say won't work after this so yeah that was like a thing and <clears throat> oh also uh, like one thing I said that I'm going to check out was uh, so where is that portion the whole thing with uh, Frederica's mom okay so here it is like Subaru says but I've heard you and Frederica have different fathers all right okay Garfield says uh, well you know my mom had shit for luck and shit for taste in men okay you figure it out 
and Subaru gets happy with that. So, what? I, I really am unable to understand. So, what does that mean? Now, Garfield also says one other thing. My mixed blood's too thin for it to stop me. So, and then, like, like, I really am not unable to understand what he's trying to say here. Like, he says that, like my sister, I have a mixed blood dad and a human mom. Like, the mom is the same person. That we can understand. And he says that, like my sister, I have a mixed blood dad. So, oh, wait a minute. So, like, like he also has a mixed blood dad. And Frederica also has a mixed blood dad. But they're not the same. Is he trying to say that? I think so. So that means like uh, previously we were under the impression that uh, Frederica's dad was a uh, mixed blood and Garfield's dad was not a mixed blood but a uh, full, you know. Uh, so that's how like Garfield is unable to, you know, get outside the sanctuary. Like that was the impression we had. But now we hear that he also has has a mixed blood dad okay okay i can kind of understand now like i was really confused at the way he was saying so like he says that his mom had bad taste in men and made a lot of mistakes so that's the reason why like they have different dads i'm guessing so like the first dad uh, that is i'm guessing frederica's i'm, I'm guessing like like he re went away or like like you know abandoned them or something and then like the second time the second uh, like dad also kind of abandoned them didn't he <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like yeah like that was the problem whole problem like frederica's like uh, like garfield's mom kind of like went outside the sanctuary to bring the dad back so both of them kind of abandoned them it's kind of you know <sighs> okay anyways i'm kind of going out outside like on a tangent all right so they have different like dads but uh like both of them are mixed blood so this kind of you know brings another thing uh, like so this kind of proves that before garfield was you know kind of not like like his mental conviction was not strong enough to get outside the sanctuary so he like did not go outside the sanctuary not because of his mixed blood but because but because he did not want to which has changed now okay so okay i can kind of understand what happened like i was really confused at this moment i was thinking like what is he actually trying to say like is there that same or is it something else i was really confused so okay so, so they're different so they're different but both of them are mixed blood all right <clears throat> and that and then like ram ram comes and like asks emilia for help and uh, you know kind of uh like kneels down in front of her and um then roswell comes in and roswell now one question i have already like always had what is roswell's actual you know uh, objective like he wants emilia to become the ruler why the question is why does he want that and there's there was also i think the whole thing with the dragon or something that he has a grudge against the dragon or something like that in the his first season i think we like heard that I'm not even sure what dragon is and why does he even have a grudge and what is his objective like a lot of questions regarding Roswell which I'm sure we'll get eventually uh, that and um, then he tries to you know kind of uh, mess with Emilia's mind mind games <laughs> unfortunately that did not work because Subaru <laughs> already gave that protection <laughs> in Emilia's mind so uh, and okay so that happens and then uh, Ram, uh, Ram comes to the you know the place where Yuzu is sealed okay so here's another thing so like so Roswell came here trying to do that like the magic that he said that will take a lot of you know energy and a lot of mana so he came here to do that and uh, Ram came here to stop him and like um, so 
and then also Oswald says something regarding that uh, like after like I am like all you know like all my mana is sucked out I am left an empty husk you can do whatever I, I want uh, whatever uh, you want to with me and all of those stuff but now here's one thing like Roswell kind of says one thing he says that like if you were a little bit late you would have been able to defeat me because if like Ram was a little bit late he would have started the whole process and he like his back would be you know uh, like turned uh, in front of Ram and he would be like concentrating on stuff like that he would do something like that Ram, Ram would have easily been able to like kill him or do something but Roswell does not understand the simple thing that Ram has not come here to kill him he has come here to save him so yeah so the timing is not like uh, incorrect the timing is correct she came here to stop Roswell before he does something you know uh, that will mess with like the whole pl like plan and also mess with him like he's also get, going to get affected by it and this kind of shows you know Ram's loyalty uh, towards Roswell and so then Roswell says that what will you do you're not strong enough like you know uh, after Ikidona I'm the person who is the strongest and Ram like brings out the trump card that is Puck <laughs> so like I'm really curious as to like well, how this will go you know like the power level in this like show is kind of you know um, confusing in a way because like I think Reinhardt is the strongest isn't he like Reinhardt was able to defeat Puck like in one of the flashbacks you know where like we were seeing after Subaru like died what happened in that flashback um, so Reinhardt is stronger than Puck I'm guessing Ekidona was extremely powerful and Roswell is saying that he, like after Ekidona he's as strong as her so like I'm guessing like uh, Puck and Roswell will be I think you know kind of like head like will be kind of similar like they are of similar power levels so it will be quite difficult for both of them <clears throat> we'll probably get to see in the next episode how this goes and yeah and then we uh, go back to the Roswell mansion where obviously uh, Elsa and I forgot that girl's name uh, the blue haired girl they were uh, like they were hired to kill them like Frederica, Petra and Beatrice all right so <laughs> but um what's her name um Petra like Petra <laughs> kind of like summons Subaru <laughs> by her <laughs> like talk no jutsu but anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's just a joke like and like Subaru comes in and uh, like <laughs> like yeah he is doing everything perfectly like he has divided the job like he said to Garfield like Garfield like I obviously won't be able to stand up against pet like Elsa so you go and deal with that I'll I'll go and deal with Beatrice and uh, yeah and Oh, and also Subaru said to Garfield that uh, like while you're going, you just go and uh, like ask Federica to go and like take Rem out of this place. Yeah, perfect plan, I'm guessing. So like if it goes according to plan, everything will be okay. Like this is the final run, I'm guessing, you know, the final, the, you know, the, the, you know, the world line where Subaru won't like do any mistake like he does like he should not make any mistake otherwise all of the things that has happened is going to go down the you know drain and like we don't want that like this is the perfect way like the, this whole uh, timeline this whole run is going extremely smoothly and we want it to end in that way so yeah and super himself go, went to deal with Beatrice and <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, oh, also another thing, um, like Elsa is pretty strong, you know. Uh, I'm really not sure, like, uh, like what her actual power level is, but I'm guessing she is uh, kind of, you know, kind of similar to Beatrice, like her power, like uh, like Elsa's power. But obviously, like she, 
in the previous you know in the previous uh, death in the previous world she killed beatrice which i'm sure was not because beatrice is weak but because beatrice was you know kind of disturbed at that moment like her mental like her mental uh, condition was not good uh, she was kind of suffering at that moment the whole thing with subaru and everything so i think that kind of got her by surprise and she got killed and obviously like she did not want to live anymore so that was also a big factor that's why like elsa was able to kill beatrice because i refuse to believe that beatrice is weaker than elsa i don't believe that so yeah mm. and uh, so i'm guessing like garfield will be able to deal with elsa and garfield also has a shield two shields and according to his theory like offense is the better like best defense so if you like do both defense and offense with the same thing you're going to be the strongest <laughs> okay uh, i think like garfield will be able to pull this off like, he's quite confident and obviously he's stronger than frederica so yeah and he has his shields his trusty shields so yeah okay and that's where it ends and then we like see a little bit of beatrice and okay so the next episode i'm really looking forward to because i want to see how like you know uh, what goes like with beatrice like how he's able to bring beatrice out of this situation like i really want to see that because in the opening we can see like uh, like super kind of saving beatrice so i really want to you know i'm quite looking forward to that so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was uh, re zero uh, season 2 part 2 episode number 8 so uh, quite a you know um like a slow episode but it's kind of building it up for the next episode like the next episode i i can see that it's going to be like fighting and everything like it's, it's going to be amazing so yeah so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching so this was episode number 8 and uh, so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down anything you want to say or anything you want to share uh, i'll be sure to check them out so yeah uh, i'll be back next week with another episode of pre zero season 2 part 2 So see you guys then and until then goodbye and have a nice day